What is up YouTube? This is Elijah here, and let me welcome you to another video from the uberlifestyle.com. Your one-stop shop for all things rideshare and driver alike. This video, we're gonna be talking about rideshare. To be honest, I hadn't planned on making another video for UberX for a little while. I was gonna focus on Uber Eats, but they've done some stuff that is pretty much demanding my attention. Everyone's giving their views, so I gotta share mine. But, y'all probably already heard that Uber has officially raised the rates for the passengers in a part of uh, Miami and Louisiana, Bad Rouge to be exact, but they have not given any increases to drivers. And obviously that's a problem. Now, am I for this? Hell no. But I'm just gonna give my honest opinion. We gotta remember that this ride share thing is not a job. At any point, you can just turn the app off. I mean, in the DFW market, it's 91 cents per mile. And of course they do take their share, so you wanna do the math with that. But I already have my point where, let's say if that was to come to here, you gotta evaluate, is this still worth your time? Is it still worth your money? If it's not, you need to find something else to do. I know that might sound kind of harsh, but it's just the reality. Like if, Honestly, if the rates would have dropped below a certain per mile for me, I would just stop doing it. I would find something else to do. Yeah, y'all already know that my main profession is in the sales field, but all the same, I know some people do depend on this like full time. To those people, I know to cut it off cold turkey would be impractical. You have bills to pay, but starting next month, take however much money you make, I'm just gonna use this figure of $1,000, okay? Take 5%, which would be $50, and say, hey, I am going to make 5% away from Uber, okay? So, how are you gonna make that $50? You gotta put your nose to the grind. You gotta figure something out. But once you make that $50, increase that percentage to 10% next month, then 15%. Now, do that over the course of the year, you'll gradually start weaning yourself away from Uber. That's how you do that. You got to do it. Now, that's all if you decide to do that. But at the end of the day, you got to look at it as a business. And at any point, it has a certain money value to you. If the company you're doing business with drops below that money value, it's time to start cutting them off. Whether it's like cold turkey or if it's gradually. That's how you got to look at that, though. I mean, I don't agree with it, obviously. If you start charging passengers more, we need to get more of it, obviously. And I know that Uber needs to be profitable. They're not, they haven't disclosed any information, but looking at their model, obviously they're losing money. That doesn't mean they need to be doing stuff like this. So obviously I'm against it, but that's my response. You, you can't let these cats stress you out like that. You gotta evaluate, is it worth doing? If it's not worth doing, let it go. At the end of the day, this isn't a rate decrease, so it's not affecting what you make, but they are pocketing more of that money. And if you feel that you need more of that, they're not gonna give it to you, find another way to make money. Now I recommend you find something other than these apps because it's supposed to be a temporary thing. It's supposed to be a Trojan horse. It gets you where you need to be using it to pay for school, get a certification, get out of debt. Well, what are you using it for, okay? You gotta look at it like that. That's my official response to this. I know it's it sucks, but it is what it is. Hey, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Comment below. As always, you know, this is the Uber Lifestyle. And if you uh, like this video, a uh, thumbs up and a subscription is greatly appreciated. It's Elijah, peace out.